Well, this is a heck of an opening for a YouTube video, but here we go. Welcome everybody, this is Scott Burnett. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to rainy cold North Georgia at Carter's Lake. As you can see, I'm here in my Carolina skiff. First day off I've had in a long time and going fishing was just eating me alive. So uh, I'm probably the only person on the lake today. I think there was two guys catching catfish over here. Uh, it's just drizzling rain, it's 57 degrees. But I had to go fishing. So uh, let's ease on out through here and we will go try to find a fish to catch and maybe eat. So y'all stay with us. Okay, I'm out here up in the river. I just did a, about a six or seven mile run, 32 miles an hour. It was rough. Rain really came down. Um, but this is what, what I wanted to do today. So uh, I'm gonna run around up on this flat and I've got night crawlers and shiners. I got a little spinner rigs that I'm gonna be putting out and um, Hope I ain't got a bunch of stuff on my face. Um, anyway, we're going to watch the graph and uh, see what we got. We got a 72 degree water temperature. Not a bad day out here. Not really. I'm, I'm on the front camera, so I probably got water all over. I'm going to dry it off here in a second. But um, let's see if we can catch a fish. We'll be right back. You know, I was going for a catch, cleaning, cook today. Looks like I'm gonna be a not catch, get wet and go to the emergency room. So uh, I'm still at it though. Been up here about 40 minutes. Uh, got four baits out, got shiners and night crawlers trying for a walleye. Uh, haven't seen much on the graph yet, so I'm gonna keep at it. All right, I got one on, I don't know what it is yet. Little spotted bass. Get him up here so you can see him. Too small to eat. Or to do anything with. But hey, stinks out of the boat. So let me put him up there. It's a five pounder. Alright, we're gonna let him go. A healthy little fish. All right, stink out of the boat, stink on the hand. Good to go. We're gonna keep at it. And yes, it's still raining. Be right back. You know, some days, I, I don't think I'm too smart. Uh, I enjoy being on the lake. Boy, days like today are hard. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of water fell in the last two hours. Maybe we'll put a big fish in the boat here in a minute. They'll just make everything just fine. All right, I decided to put the baits back out one more time. Now it's hooked up. Let me get over here and... I don't know what it is yet. Quite fast. Baby. You're the one I'm looking for. Come here. Oh, goodness. Good 
like seeing me do a catch clean cook on this guy. I think I want to. We're gonna put him on ice. See? Alright, looks like I'm hooked up back here. Like pretty, pretty good fish, too. Uh, you get my net. Oh my god, this is the biggest wall I ever caught. Biggest wall. Hang on just a minute. Golly darn. Oh. biggest one I ever caught. Look at that. Look at that guy right there. Holy. Look at him. Wow. How much you weigh? That's kilograms. That ain't going to work at all. Eight pounds. That's an eight pound wall. <laughs> well, it's probably not a certified scale, but ooh, something's coming out. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. I'm, all right, we'll, we'll finish this Ooh. up in just a second. Okay, we're still out of here. It's uh, 6.24 p.m. I gotta be heading back to the boat ramp. It's gonna get dark on me. But I had to make, I had some more bait, so I had to make a couple more, a couple more laps down through here. Uh, didn't get anything else. And I, would, I know I was crazy when I caught that fish, but that's the biggest, that's my personal best walleye. So I am, I am just, pour up back there. I just I'm gonna go home and uh this weekend we'll make a cash clean cook out of that one. That's boy I'm I'm excited. Anyway I'm gonna pull these baits down through here for about another five minutes. And I'm gonna put this joker on the trailer and head back to Sonorable. Um anyway if y'all like this video I hope it turns out good because man it rained on me. It's still raining As a matter of fact I'm cold and wet um i hope i can make a video out of this but if y'all like it give me a big thumbs up because man i am stoked it's uh whew, man anyway um y'all have a blessed evening and uh have a great weekend i mean even though it's raining and cold i'm i'm happy god's blessing us i mean look at look out here this is this is beautiful country um been a great day all right love y'all and we're gone okay everybody back here in the kitchen and if y'all seen all the footage of me standing out in the rain and everything i'm dried off i'm almost warm so anyway we're going to clean the fish tonight this is a catch clean cook of my personal best walleye and That's him right there. That's the biggest wall I've ever caught, but these things are delicious. I've also got a spotted bass here we're gonna clean too, because my nephew told me that they are really good to eat, so we're gonna try it too. I'll probably end up trying it. Anyway, I'm gonna bring the camera over here and drop it down on, on top, and uh, we'll clean this thing together. All right. Let's get him over here. And Trying not to make a mess. Let me go ahead and get a plastic bag here. Right. Plastic 
ready to put everything in once they get done. He's almost too big for my cutting board. Okay, I got my knife sharp. Make sure I can, yeah, okay. I'm going for sure.
All right, we sped through that. Nice plate of walleye here. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna fix this, put it in the refrigerator, put it in the Ziploc bag. Uh, tomorrow, we'll do something on the big green egg with it and uh, have a nice plate of fish. Y'all have a good night and uh, we'll catch up on the, the cook part of this. Hey everybody, we're back to the cook portion of this catch clean cook. We got our bag of walleye and, and spotted bass right here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook it two ways. Uh, two of the flays I'm gonna put in the oven with some uh, butter and garlic and then some Everglades seasoning on it. And then I'm gonna put Parmesan cheese on it. The rest of it, I'm gonna make a foil packet and we'll uh, put Everglades and olive oil in it and some black pepper and cook it out on the grill. And I've got the grill going already. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with this. All right, so I got my butter and garlic, garlic butter, garlic butter, okay. I have parchment paper on this pan. And what we'll do, we're going to take two fillets. Okay, we'll cut those in garlic butter. I think I'm gonna put a little pepper on those too. I'll do that. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put these in a 350 degree oven, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll put some Parmesan cheese and put it into the broiler. And we'll see how this turns out. Never done this before, so and this one will make us a full packet. And you see, that's got a little bit of the garlic on it. We'll make it good. Grab me a paper towel. This right here is Everglades Fish and Chicken. Best spice you could buy. Uh, Amazon, Kroger, Publix, all have it on fish, chicken, pork. It's the best. So. season this Twice. 
get some good steam in there. And we got that right there, ready to go on the grill. This take 20 minutes. I got the grill at about 350, so uh, I'll head on out there and put it. It's raining right now, so I'm gonna go throw it on the grill and we'll come back when it's done. All right, we've had 20 minutes on the, in the oven and the grill. Let me show you what this looks like. Now this is garlic and butter. And then I put Parmesan cheese and put it under the broiler. Hopefully y'all can see that. We got a spotted bass and a walleye. And this one is mostly walleye and then some and spotted bass. And see how the packet, the packet came up? That's because due to the steam. I'm gonna take a knife. Cut a few holes in there. I'm just gonna burn myself. See how all the steam's coming out of it here. Let me make sure it got done good. Should have. See the steam coming off that? And that's olive oil, Everglades fish and chicken, and, and black pepper. Let me grab a fork. Let me go ahead and say a quick blessing. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for all of our blessings. Thank you for our health, Lord. Thank you for my family. And thank for all these folks watching the video, Lord. In your name I ask this. Amen. Go ahead and try this. Well, that's going to be hot. That is hot. I don't know if y'all can see that. Firm white fish. That'll do. That'll do it. Try the Parmesan crusted. Oh yeah. Had to do over right there. We'll do that again. Alright. Alright, we'll end it right there. I probably got 20 something minutes anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell down there to be notified. It really helps us out when you do subscribe. Hit that like button if you like it. If you don't, that other button works. But we'd love to have you on board watching the videos. If you got a comment for us, leave a comment, good or bad. We want the good ones though. And uh, we got a couple of sweet potatoes on the grill. We're gonna get them off here in a minute. We're gonna sit down to dinner. I hope y'all have a blessed day, a blessed weekend, blessed week, and everything. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.